Center. Please welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, private second classman, Alex Kamka. Welcome back, welcome back. You were deployed in? Camp Casey, South Korea. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for one moment, we would like to let you all know that his wife has no idea that he is home. We are going to bring her to the court the next time out, and we're going to play a cool game of hot and cold, and you guys are all participating. Are you guys ready? All right, so welcome home, and come the quarter break, we're going to reunite you with your wife. That's coming up next. We cannot wait. Welcome home, Alice Kamka, ladies and gentlemen, right here to the United Center. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, what we have right now is a classic game of hot and cold, but what we have at stake is a lot of money. Whoever can find Benny the Bull in the fastest time will win $1,000. Let's meet our contestants. And what's your name, sir? Brendan. Brendan, where are you from? Chicago. He is from right here, Chicago. And what is your name? Karen. Karen. And Karen, where are you from? Palatine, Illinois. Okay, all right. Well, it's pretty simple. We're going to blindfold you, spin you around a few times, and then you have to stick your hands out and find Benny. Ladies and gentlemen, the louder you get and the more you cheer, that means they're getting closer. If you boo, that means you guys are walking the wrong way. You may need to switch directions, okay? All right, first up is Brendan. Let's get him blindfolded and spin him around a few times. He's going to have to find Benny. Now, Karen, you're going to get a chance to take a look at this. All right, let's go. Let's get him spun around. Here we go. And go. Wrong way. Wrong way. Wrong way. Oh, looks like he's going the right way. Keep going. Oh. All right, looks like he found him in a very short amount of time. Karen, are you ready? All right, here we go. She's ready. Can you see? She cannot see. All right, let's spin around. Here we go. One, two, three. All right, now start walking, Karen. Whoa. Whoa. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Almost got him. Where's Benny? You're going the wrong way. Turn around. Karen, keep going. Turn around. Go the other way. And looks like you got him. Take off your blindfold. Who is it? It is. Ladies and gentlemen, they are reunited. Alex and Karen. Fresh from deployment from South Korea. He came here to the United Center and Karen had no idea that Alex was home. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome the happy couple, Alex and Karen, back to Chicago. Check again for the Memphis Grizzlies, number 30, John Lure. And for the Wolves, number 20, Tony Snell. Number 48, Nazi Muhammad. I hate that song. I always feel like 
like they talking to me when it comes on. Another day, another dawn. Another Keisha, nice to meet you, get the mad if I'm gone. What am I supposed to do when the club lights come on? It's easy to be pumped, but it's harder to be <laughs> yeah, my heart's... <laughs> Trying to avoid being seen by his wife and daughter, Staff Sergeant Brett Randall sneaks into the Civic Theater to surprise his family. It actually means so much to me because I've missed many holidays away from my family. Hiding out in the audio booth, Randall watches his four-year-old daughter, Stephanie, performing in a holiday dance recital. Then, after her performance, he plays the <laughs> <laughs> Daddy. Seconds later, <laughs> Randall's wife, Jennifer, buried herself in his arms. Hi, baby. <laughs> the crowd gave this surprise reunion a standing ovation. Thank you guys. We sorry for interrupting. <laughs> Randall's been away for more than six months. He's a specialized EMT that's been stationed in Afghanistan. It's definitely great to have him home for Christmas. You're welcome. <laughs> she saw me and it, and it clicked. You could see the look on her face and it just lit me up inside. It, it felt like magic. A holiday surprise this military family will never forget. Ew! <laughs> Ew! Thanks, kiddo. Can you tell me what you thought when you saw your daddy? I was happy when he's coming home. What are you going to do now that your daddy's home? I'm going to read him a story. Did you learn to read while he was gone? Can you tell me what you thought when you saw your dad? Um, I was surprised. Like, I thought it was like just a dream. It didn't feel like it was real, like it was actually happening. Yeah, talk to me about how long you've been waiting for this day. Since the day I left. So, <laughs> I, can't even, I can't even focus right now, it's so hard for you know. And then my face was on fire. Pulling up at the house. Just got back, man. First man, time. Man, first time being home since I was in Afghanistan. About to pop up on my dukes. It's gonna be funny. Hold it, guys. Just hold it, man. I got you. I got you. I got you. Hello, Susie. <laughs> hey, how you doing? I got a surprise for you. <laughs> Hey!
good to see her baby, man. She's she's soaking it in. You gotta let it go. You gotta let her do her thing. <laughs> Good time, happy tears, happy tears. Yeah. So they are. I don't care. Oh no. <laughs> I can't believe. Oh my god, I'm just about to get in the shower. I wouldn't even hurt the. Oh my god. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh. <laughs> She's happy, man. Come on. You understand when you got a kid one day. You're going to yeah, understand. He knows that. I understand, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Did you pick him up, Jonathan? Yep. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. Oh, my God. There's nothing. That's my, that's my right hand man right there. <laughs> of course, I'm going to pick him up. Oh, my gosh. Oh, honey. Hey, mommy. <laughs> Facebook, it's coming soon. Give her, Mama. I'm sorry, it was inappropriate because we didn't have the right people, so oh. <laughs> I had to really embarrass you. Oh, Taylor. You gotta make help us embarrass you. <laughs> All right, whatever. Let's do it. All right, Taylor. Just count to three. We're ready. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Taylor.
keep us in our house. Come on. Come on, Christian. Megan. Megan. Uh-huh. I'm gonna I'm gonna go in and just say, you know, call her out in the hall. I'll show about pooper pants. Okay. Here. Free tops? Francis. Francis? Francis. <laughs> you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> oh. Did you forget my box, Jonathan? Yeah. That's my box. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Welcome back. We already surprised the older two. That was hilarious. As far as I know, that's something I've been meaning to go on the net, but I think. Can we tell I think. That, uh, yeah, oh. I think that um, we could go and see them. <laughs> what are you going to tell? Um, I, I've been in a hotel <laughs> in Paris. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. You were so involved with the caves, we didn't oh. even know. Who is that baby? I think they're just too shy. What do you think, Elizabeth? Okay. When I call your name, you're going to be older. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs>